this is the second full load of carrots and then there's still 32,000 litres in the actual harvester so hello everyone and welcome back to Zilanka, the premium expansion map for FS22 <clears throat> we moved on to August since the previous episode and our carrots are ready to harvest looking very lush and fluffy so they're ready to harvest so we do need to lease the vegetable harvester for them and our canola or sorghum field is also done so this needs to be harvested and then we need to join uh, this field and field 50 literally just there that was wheat i think in the last episode so we're going to join them together and then we're going to drill something in them when we have all that done our sugar beet are looking is looking well not quite ready yet ready a little bit later in the year as well as our soybeans over there and then our grapes and our olives obviously aren't ready for another little while too but without further ado we'll get in we'll get this harvester i forget where the one i use is the mod here it is <laughs> it has a big tank big hopper uh, it has a sixty thousand liter tank or a two and a half or a quarter of a million i mean and then a million so like yeah pretty much insane but i just use the 60 it's the smallest and our trailer for our lorry is actually fifty nine thousand, so it kind of works out engine i don't really change i don't really change nothing on it so we'll just lease it ten thousand, and uh we need to get the header which comes with a clatter load of headers uh they're all the same weight but they let you do different speeds so i just tend to use the standard because and then i turn it up a little because i have the speed mod thing separate that i use so carrots we're looking for the standard which we can lease also for 500 quid let's get over to the store i probably should have clicked the other way there we go so we're getting this this is a fantastic mod for doing vegetables i just don't like the way the harvester in game doesn't have a uh let's do others other side i don't like how the harvester in game doesn't have a hopper it's quite frustrating i wish they would have brought one one like what they have and then one with a hopper as well but we have this we have mods people that make fantastic mods if you like farm simulator guys make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the like button and make sure you drop a comment let me know any suggestions of anything any mods or any maps or anything you'd like to see play and i do have a roleplay coming up very soon so uh, I'm just kind of in the middle of finishing off writing that so definitely check that out uh, and stick around for that because that's going to be absolutely savage so we'll unfold and we'll set a worker off of this and we'll go and harvest the sorghum ourselves because I'm pretty sure this lad will be able to fit this whole field in the hopper and then yep we won't have to look at him then uh, so not deer. Get the header and we shall do the sorghum. And we'll be bringing all that them carrots down to the soup. Because that's where we get a lot of money. Rather than selling the carrots themselves straight off the field. You don't get much money for them. So you produce them into soup. You get uh, quite a lot. You tend to get like two or three hundred thousand off that field alone. Out of soup. It's ridiculous really how much soup you get. Because you just get so much carrots off, like bulk. It's just, it's, root crops are just so bulky. This sugar beet is going to be the very same. We're going to have so much sugar out of this, because this is going for ketchup. So we do have tomatoes on growing over there, and then we'll have all this sugar beet. So yeah, it's going to be a nice setup. So yeah. Let's uh, unfold. This is some combo and I absolutely love it. And let's go. We'll do this ourselves. I'll start a quick time lapse because it will be quick. Because as you can see this header is ginormous. But yeah. Start a time lapse and get this done.
Okay, <clears throat> we have an all done. I did end up drinking the glory more than anything, but... I don't know why I thought the carrots would all fit in there. I mean, like... I don't know why. It's ridiculous, like 60,000 litres. This is the second full load of carrots, and then there's still 32,000 litres in the actual harvester, so... Yeah, we... I don't know how that all, how I thought that all fit, but anyway. We're going to bring to the soup. I actually think I need to activate the soup now that I'm coming up to it. I already brought a trailer out here. Probably seen it in time lapse, but... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I actually have to activate it. Because uh, it's probably deactivated. So, let's take a quick look after it saves, of course. Um, we are looking for our soups. Carrot soup. Yep, we can activate that and get some carrot soup rocking and rolling. So, yeah. Oh, we have sunflower. Let's activate that. Why isn't it activated? I'm so silly, I forget. Canola we don't have. Olives we will have very soon. So, tomatoes then are distributing, which they're stocking up. So, I might actually buy some sugar beet. Or pallets of sugar. I know I can buy pallets of sugar. Because, uh, see, the tomato, the ketchup place is full. So, that means... The tomato greenhouse can't distribute anywhere, so it's stocking up on itself. So when this gets full, it'll probably just obviously stop. But we don't have sugar beet yet, so... I might actually just buy... Some pallets of sugar. And just get the ketchup rocking and rolling until we have our sugar beet made. Because I don't want the tomatoes to all go to waste. And not get used. So... I shall buy a few pallets and we'll bring them down on the trailer. Just in a minute when we empty these carrots. So let me empty these the second load. Or should I say third load? Okay, I've bought three sugar pallets, so let's just toss these in here. And at least that can get started because I really want to see what the ketchup is like. And our sugar is gonna take forever. Because it's still in the ground. Alright, so that's sugar's full as well. Well, at least they should do, they should do for a while then. Um, that means... Button, productions. Ketchup. We're full on sugar, full on tomatoes. So let's... Repeat. So we should have ketchup. Yeah, we'll store because I want to see what the pallets are like. So... Very loud. Wow. Um, I presume they will go on this. I don't really know. We'll leave it and see for a while. At least it, they'll start using stuff. Which is great. So they'll use the sugar and now we're going to start using the tomatoes from the greenhouses in this. So. Let's. Get into a vehicle. In the yard. Our lorry is back. Um. Yeah actually we need to get into the JCB because. We need to. Start plowing that laneway kind of thing between so we've allowed create fields on so that means we can join these together and yeah we'll just start here go across and go down then to the end we shall join these two together There we go. Just about done. I said I might as well widen out the grass verge as well. I mean, it's wasted land, so might as well make use of it. Make it a bit bigger. But yeah, we have joined them together now. 
I'm tempted to try and feel 52 with 51 as well. Uh, to make a really big field. Like right here. Straight across. And join these two together down here. I think it'd be fun. I want to do a, a chance and see what it's like. Um, again, like this series is just for fun. I'm not trying to be realistic or trying to be too serious with this. Because I have the roleplay coming up. So this one is just, just for fun. So, yeah. Might as well. And... Make a really, really big field. What we're going to plant in it yet, I have no idea. But we could do a massive vegetable harvest and put the 1 million size tank on the, the harvester. And just plant something like red beet or parsnips. Because we've done literally just done carrots. So red beet or parsnips. And in this like huge field now. And put the 1 million litre tank on the harvester and just crack at it and see what it's like. Just... For the absolute fun. Um, let me know in the comments what we should plant in this field. Or should we go and put like wheat in it? Or should we put like soybeans and get a really good payout? Or sorghum or something? Or let me know. Let me know what you guys want. And we'll see what we can plant in this field. I think I'm actually just going to drive straight down. Square this off. Straight to the end. Make this field as big as possible. Oh. Much better. Yeah. So I'll drive up and down here. Where this field is. Join them. But yeah, that's looking pretty big to me now. So yeah. I'm open to suggestions, guys. Let me know what you want to plant in this. Uh, we can do a combined mud crop or we can do the vegetable crop and um, whatever let me know in the comments what you think would be fun I really think the vegetable with the 1 million litre tank and just absolutely go to town on vegetables because it is for the premium expansion so the whole reason is I want to kind of prioritise them because I don't know when I'm going to ever do them again so I might as well absolutely go to town on them and make some loads and loads of soup um, and just get a massive payout at the end of this because I feel this size for soup would be insane. However, what is actually worth more? Um, uh, preserved. So they're worth about two and a half. What's their best? Oh, they're, yeah, sorry, they're worth about two and a half at their best. Roughly two four nine two five three and two five five. So yeah, and then the soup is worth. Oh wow, right, the soup is worth way more. I was gonna say maybe do some preserved stuff, but yeah, I definitely think the soup is worth obviously way more. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll stick with the soup. But yeah, that's. Or we forget. Let's just limit that back to fields because we don't want to make a hair a hames or something. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Let me know what you should plant that. I really am leaning towards vegetable. Um, just to absolutely finish it off for the series with the premium expansion. Because obviously they were new in this. So I think that's what we should do. And yeah, I mean. There's not a whole lot else we can do in this in-game there. Oh, to unfold this, aren't we? Take it off. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure there's not more we can do in this day. Um, so we do have wheat, which is best in December. Oats, which is also best in December. And sorghum, which is actually best in January. So not bad. We can sell all them. So... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, there's not a whole lot left. I mean, I'll probably end the episode here and... We'll skip into the next in-game day. Stop it there all the time. And we can just check and see. And sugar beet is not quite ready. Soybeans are lovely and dark. So as well as them. But the grapes are ready. So we can do the grapes in the next episode. Which means we will have to lease out the harvester. And then. Uh, we'll probably just sell the grapes straight off. Um, I haven't got a grape processing unit. 
But the olives will be going into oil milk to make olive oil, obviously. But yeah, we skipped a day now, so let's just have one quick look. Let's just have a look. Oh, all the tomato. A hundred. Oh, wow. So they're literally all individual one by ones. Wow. So we'll have to buy a pallet or something to put them into. So we're going to make a lot of... Yeah, it's actually running out. So we're going to have to do something with that. Because it's running out of storage. So... Um... Let's go fill them back up. The tomatoes are being used, which is good. The sunflowers... Uh, should be making oil. Whoa! Yep, we have sunflower oil. Which is fantastic. We have four pallets there. We just shove them into the back. So there are more can spawn. Yeah, very yellow moth. And then I'm guessing then our soup has a good few pallets. Yeah, it's full. Yep. So we have a lot to do in the next episode. We're going to have to sell some of them. Sort out the tomatoes. I don't know what we've used to sell the tomatoes. Uh, this maybe? Tomatoes probably can't go on that. There's probably a special box that I have to buy. Um. Ah. Plastic boxes, look. I guess there's nothing else. This is all just... It's another fillable palette. Not a tomato on this now. Um, a bread palette. These are all just different there. So it's looking like we're going to have to get these. We're tiny though. Strawberry yogurt, tomato juice, no, it's tomato juice, ketchup, bottles of ketchup, so I'm guessing you put whatever money in there, and yeah, we do, because it's all interactive, so yeah, that's a weird one, but I'm going to leave it here, very, probably a very short episode, but again, I ran out of time, because I'm actually recording Taunton right before this, I recorded Taunton right before this episode, where my power cut out, so yeah, kind of, because I had to do extra work on Taunton this after shorting this episode now as well. So unfortunately that's the way it is. Well I hope you guys enjoyed. I leave the episode here. And let me know in the comments what we should plant in that big field I just made. And we'll get going on it as soon as we can. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks very much for watching. And goodbye.